It's the video for Try Now 10, the question on implicit differentiation. So as always, our first step, we're going to write d by dx on both sides of the equation. Um, on the right-hand side of the equation, I've got 0, and obviously differentiating that will give me 0. Really important to write that first. Um, I saw a couple of people just straight away writing this. And of course, from that moment on, the moment they wrote that, the rest of it is, is wrong. So don't do that. Um, do that first. Right, okay. Differentiating x squared, that's nice and easy. Get 2x. Uh, here comes the tricky part. So we're differentiating 4xy. So we need to use the product rule on this. So, differentiating 4x, we get 4 and multiply that by the y. That's okay, nice and simple. Now we need to differentiate the y and times it by the 4x. So when you differentiate y, we get 1 times the y by the x, because we differentiate with respect to y, not to x. So differentiating the y gives 1 times dy by the x, and that's multiplied by the 4x. Um, then differentiating the y squared, so differentiating y squared with respect to y gives 2y, but we need to times by dy by the x. Differentiating 27 is 0, and the right hand side is 0. Okay, uh, next job, everything that has a dy by dx, keep it on the left hand side. So I've got my dy by dx times 4x, and I've got my 2y dy by dx. On the right hand side, I've got my minus 2x minus 4y. Factorise now. And then make dy by dx the subject. And there we go, done. Most common mistakes with that question is, like I said, not writing this at the very beginning. The, the uh, most common mistake there was not being really careful with the product rule. Okay? Spot that that's a product rule and be really careful with it.